guys! Welcome back to Sappy Creates. Today we're going to be playing with Palmer Clay. I have not touched Palmer Clay in at least 10 years, maybe, or less. Um, so I have my little toaster oven here off to the side. Um, I grab one of my resin molds because um, I want to do some bows. Um, Last time I used this mat, I um, apparently used glitter. I was trying to get it off, but now I just found this way to get it off. And <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna get that off. Um, anyways, <laughs> so I got on clearance, I got candy grape. Um, Neon Blue and Candy Sour Apple. So these are the colors I want to use to make my cute little bows. Um, like this and I think I'm going to do them as cabochons. I'm not sure. Cabochons or charms. Um, I'm going to try to get this glitter off and I'll be back. Okay, I have most of the glitter off. Um, some of it's on me now. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're going to start with purple, and I want to do this whole thing um, with uh, the purple, and then I want to do the whole thing with blue, and the whole thing with green, and sorry if you hear a bell in the background, I put one of their electronic balls in the bathroom. We were playing with their laser and they were having a ball. So. But I was done playing because um, Senna was panting like a dog. <laughs> so I figured she needed a break. So I might get some of that glitter in the, these bows. glitter in it. Looks like it already has a sparkle in it, so. So anyway, I'm conditioning the clay, get it soft, and like I said, I have not done anything with Palmer clay in years. Starting off with a little piece because I don't know how much um, how much clay I'm gonna need um, for these bows. Record me doing all of them, all the colors. But I will show you the finished ones at the end of the video. Yeah, so this clay already has like a sparkle to it. That's cute. Because 
just doing it with my finger. So now I'm gonna get all the little details in there. I'm hoping that this works. All right, so there's the bow. It works really well, actually. Um, the only thing is, I just have to clean it up a little bit. And I'm gonna do that before I Put it on my mat. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up the whole thing. A lot of people just say mash it in there. But honestly, if you mash it in there, I just wanna show you how it's deep See if mashing would work. Alright, so here's this bow that I mashed. This one has a little bit more detail to it, but it looks like I could just mash it. I'm gonna keep that one because I already did it. But yeah. it in and then I'll take my tool just to make sure I get all the details. Technique especially works if you have a deep mold. See, that one was perfect. This one I overfilled, so.
I think these are going to be really cute. So I'm going to continue working. Um, and then I will show you the finish product when I finish. And I actually think I'm going to just use this whole clay on each one um, to make these bows. And... Because why not? <laughs> Alright, I'll be back when this is finished. So I finished all the bows, um, the purple ones, um, so my, um, toaster oven, I stopped using it for food because it caught fire, <laughs> um, it made me nervous, so I was like, okay, I'll get a brand new one for me and then use this one as my crafting toaster oven, well, I... <laughs> set the time and everything the way it's said um but it does cook uneven so some of my um purple bows are darker than the others <laughs> hello senna um but i still love them and i'm still gonna put them in my embellishment mix um the green ones i did those second um, so these ones, I didn't do the full, um, 15 minutes, I did 10. Um, so none of these are burnt looking, um, though they do kind of, I mean they're hard, but they're not as hard as these ones. So I will make these again. Um, these ones will be in my embellishment mix, but I will make these bows again once I have a better toaster oven for crafting. Um, but... Anyway, they're, they turned out super cute, and then I put gloss over them, and I really love them. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I look forward to seeing you all in my next one. Um, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, leave them down below, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Thank you. Bye.